All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is add our shipping rates. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. Then here, let's go to WooCommerce and click on settings. And here, let's open up the shipping settings. And then here we can add shipping zones. So you can have multiple shipping zones, which are basically the geographical locations where you are shipping your products to. So for example, you can have a specific zone for California and then add a specific rate for that area. You can have one for the entire United States area. You can have one for Europe. So you can create as many shipping zones as you want and add as many shipping rates as you want. So let's create the first one by clicking on add zone up here. I'm going to create one for the United States. So I'm gonna name it United States. And then down here, we wanna choose our region. So again, I'll type in United States and here it is. We could even choose individual states or we can even type in zip codes right here and create specific rates for zip codes. But I'll just keep it general and just choose the United States here. And then down here, we can add our shipping method. So let's click on add shipping method. Then here we have three options. We have free shipping for when you don't wanna charge anything extra for shipping the products. Then we have a flat rate if you wanna charge something for shipping. And then we have local pickup. This is also a free option, but then customers will have to go to your physical location and pick up their products. So I'm gonna add a flat rate first. So let's choose this and click on continue. And then I'm gonna name this rate standard shipping. For taxable status, I'm gonna choose none. And then here we can add our shipping cost. So let's add $7 for shipping. Then let's click on create and save. So now we have a $7 standard shipping rate for the United States. And one thing we can do is also add free shipping for a certain order amount. So this is basically what we are promising right here at the top, free shipping on orders above $40. So I wanna set that up too. So let's go back to the dashboard and then click on add shipping method again. And now I will just choose free shipping and continue. And I'll leave the name free shipping. And then here we wanna add a requirement. So I'm gonna add a minimum order amount and then the minimum amount that people will have to buy products in is $40. Then let's click on create and save. And then I would also recommend to drag the free shipping above the standard shipping because then when free shipping is available, so when the order amount is above $40, the free shipping method will be selected by default. So let's click on save changes. And now we can go back to our shipping zones. And here we can see that we have free shipping and standard shipping for the United States. And now we can just click on add zone and add as many zones as you want. So for example, you can add another one for Canada or one for Europe and so on. Now there's always this rest of the world down here. So these are all the zones that you currently haven't defined yet. And if you are selling internationally, then you also wanna add a shipping rate to this specific zone as well, so that people can order products from anywhere from the world. So let's do that also by clicking on edit. Then let's click on edit shipping method. And here I will do flat rate, continue. And I will also name this standard shipping, taxable status none. And then here I will charge a bit more because this is international shipping. Let's just charge $15 and click on save. You could also add free shipping for a specific order amount, but I'll just stick to standard shipping for now. So let's go back to shipping zones. And now we also have standard shipping for the rest of the world. Now here on our website, let's see if the shipping rates are set up correctly. So let's go to our shop and then let's just add a product to the cart and go to checkout. And now here we can see the shipping rate is $7 because the order amount is below $40. And we can also change the region from United States to another country. And that will go to the international shipping rate, which is $15. Now let's go ahead and add another product to the cart. Let's just add this one right here. Then again, go to checkout. And now we still have $15 because we are on international shipping. But when we change this back to United States, now we also have the free shipping method option. 